Hi everybody today i will show you how to use gmask so let's just begin so the gmask is basically the chrome extension so what can we do with the gmask all right so we can use the gmask to send the cold email and we can also use it for email marketing messages and we can create the email campaigns as well and we can also use the mail merge to personalize the data from the google sheet All right so now let's just install this chrome extension Okay so as you can see here that I am inside my Gmail account and the Gmask is actually not connected with my account so now I just have to connect this with my Gmail account so click on the sign up with Google Okay so now I have to connect my Gmail account here and now i have to allow the gmask to access my google account so let's just click on the allow all right so as you can see that the gmask is actually connected with my gmail account okay so let's just close this and okay so now let's just click on show me some magic and it will actually create a dummy campaign for us okay so as you can see here we have these dummy emails and we have our first gmask email campaign all right and you can also see this test email as well okay so if you want to send the email by gmask what we need to do we have to click on the gmask here and it will send the email to all of these different people okay with their personalized first name okay so as you can see that i have sent the 10 emails all right so let's just go to the send emails we have sent the email to the 10 different contacts so let's go back to the inbox all right so now I will just create a new email here. Okay, so I'm going to simply write down a dummy email here some at gmail.com. All right, so the subject would be test here. Okay, and it would only have the hi. All right, so okay, so as you can see this little icon here that is the gmask icon. So I can use this icon to connect an email list in my Google Sheet or the past campaign. All right, so let's click on this icon here. I can actually get the recipients from these three things from my Google Sheet account or from another campaign that I have previously created and I can also select the list from the account all right so now I will just skip this okay and we will simply go into the settings of Gmask here okay so in the settings of the Gmask as you can see here that if I want to send the test email I can simply send it from here so send the test email and it will send the email to my own gmail account all right so let's just refresh this and now you can see that i have my test email here okay so now let's just explore the other options here okay so if i want to use the templates in my email so i can simply use it from here so i will just simply click on the drop down button so as you can see here that we have the three different campaigns so i can use any campaign email here as a template so i just simply click on this email and you can see that we have this whole email here and if you want to send the personal message so you can simply select the first name last name and email address so i just simply select the first name okay uh, and i can also select the last name and i can also select the email here and you can also add the unsubscribe link here okay so as you can see here i have added the unsubscribe link here so, all right so let's just remove this from here and go back to the setting Okay so in the settings as you can see here we have the option of tracking it will actually track the number of opens and the clicks on our email that how many customer or how many clients have opened our email or clicked on our email okay if i just want to track both of these thing i will just simply check on both of these values and in action we have the two things send emails and create draft all right and we also have the auto follow up Okay so if we don't get the response or any other scenario here so first of all let's just check this and as you can see here if we get no reply no open or no click no reply or click or everyone then after the two days send up this follow up email okay so you can change the email here you can also change the number of days here all right and in the similar way you can also create a second stage that if we even don't get any response on the auto follow up so i will also create the second email if no response or click or anything else after the 5 days send this email again and in the similar way we can create the third stage we can also create the fourth stage and we can also create the fifth stage and so on 
okay so let's just uncheck all of these stages here okay so i only want to create a single stage here so let's just uh, close this and after that we have the option of schedule and in the schedule as you can see here we have the time so i want to send this email right now or in the five minutes or in an hour or in the three hour and we also have the other options here and i can also skip the weekends if i wanted to just by checking on this uh, option and the speed okay so speed simply means that how many emails i want to send in a day to that particular contact okay so let's just say i want to send the 10 emails here so i would write down the 10 here and what should be the gap between all of these emails okay so the gap should be in between 1 to 5 minutes or 5 to 10 minutes or 1 to 10 seconds all right so and in the end i have the option to repeat this schedule so if i wanted to repeat the schedule i would just simply check on this so when i want to repeat this schedule every one day i want to schedule it after every week okay after every single week so i can add the two weeks here three weeks here and four weeks etc etc all right so this is how you can use the repeat option as well and in the end we have the advanced option so in the advanced option if i want to send the email as the new messages or the replies and in the images we have the three different values embedded hosted and the default and we also have the reply to and after that we have the verify it will actually verify the email before sending them the mails so we will simply check on this so we also have the skip send so let's just check on this and it will actually prevent our emails logging to the send folder as you can see the send folder here okay so let's just uncheck this and i also have the option of suppression and in suppression i just simply have to select the people or select the content where i don't want to send the email or i don't want to include those people in my campaigns okay and we also have the a b test and we also have the poll okay we have the preview text we also have the friendly name so the preview text would be my first campaign using gma g mass okay so these are all the options that we have in the settings of gmas all right so this is how you can use the gmar to send the cold emails and we can also create the campaign with the help of gmas okay so you can also connect your google sheet with the gmas as well so in order for the gmas to find email list stored in your google sheet we have to authorize the gmas to access your google sheet okay so this is how i can add the context from my google sheet and the gmas and you can also send the follow-up campaign based on the opens and the close okay so we can actually go with any campaign here okay so this will actually create a manual follow-up campaign to the people who have opened my email and didn't open my email and click the email and didn't click the email so it's all up to me whom i want to send the email okay so this is how you can create the manual follow-up campaign as well and if you want to use the campaign dashboard you will simply click on here and you will be able to see the gmas dashboard for campaign so as you can see here we have the two campaigns uh, these are the previous campaigns transitional we have nothing in the transitional and in the current campaigns as you can see we have the 10 recipient uh, zero opens zero clicks zero unsub and bounces reply then etc and you can even open the email here okay so this is our email campaign that we use for our campaign okay so this is how the gmas work and if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel